He might be only a prospect, guys, but Nesta was getting his hands dirty in episode 7 of season 5. Yes, I don't know why the Mayans appear to have brought a rule in that if you're a prospect, if you don't have any of your rockers, if you're not a fully patched member, then you cannot mingle with the crew eaters or the hangarounds. I, I don't understand that. They are grown men. At the end of the day, I understand that they are prospects, but to me this just does not make any sense. Is this a new rule that they brought in? I mean, with Santa Padre, you can kill as many members, other charter members as you want. You can drop Diaz, you can drop Jink, you can drop Jinx, but if you want to have a girlfriend in this bar, you have no chance of that, big man. That's no happening. Easy has slammed the gavel down. No. And it's just it's just messed up though. Like easy saying this. He, he, he's preventing these prospects for having relationships and like Nestor's fucking probably like f he's probably like five years older than Easy. Does no one see a problem with that? I get it. Easy's president, but I don't know. To me that that not none of that is right and when they actually talked about it in that episode and you've got Nestor shaking the hand of Jess. Just very cringe, very weird now. Apparently, maybe, like we said, that could have been a setup. It could have been like for her to be like, oh, we nasty, he's a, he's a real gentleman. Let's go to the lookout point, man. And then we did go to the lookout point, didn't we? Nestor, then, after Jess is telling pretty, a pretty boring story, whips out his gun, looks at her. Jess kind of looks at him with her big nose. Her big nose almost sliced the pistol clean in two. But then Nestor pulls the trigger, and we were wondering, hmm, what's what's Hank burning in these episodes? And it turns out what he's burning is this car. So, yeah, like, you know what's weird about this? They'll go to such lengths to burn this car and dispose of Jess's body, but like, as Lucky said, you get the, you you guys and the sons are killing each other and ended up in the six o'clock news every night. It makes no sense. You can what you can shoot up hospitals and fucking cameras, all this shit. But you just kill Jess, and you just you, you oh fuck. This is the murder. You just decide to cover up. To me, personally, it doesn't make a lot of sense if I'm being honest about it. But at the same time, it is what it is, guys. And I guess we got to move on. So yeah, Nesta pulls the trigger, kills Jess. I thought we might have got like more scenes with Jess and Sam Dino, but it hasn't went that way. Um, am I disappointed in that? Not really, but the only she only got one scene with Sam Dino this entire season, and it was uh, when Terry came in, and then Terry got beat up by both of them after trying to choke Jess out. So Terry the simp, Terry the simp, what's he about? But to be honest, we're not here to discuss Terry, even though I mean Terry's going to appear in the next episode. What's Terry going to do in the next episode? We don't really know, guys, but as for this, we, we kind of predict that the chest was going to die. It was absolutely going to happen. There was no two ways about it. I feel like this death, though, should have happened at the start of this season. I see no purpose, really, in keeping her to this point. Like four episodes from the end, and she's still alive. Honestly, to me it's, sometimes I just don't understand the logic behind Elgin James. But again, guys, the pacing has been off all season, so you can't really, I mean, we, obviously we break stuff down on this channel, but at the end of the day, you can't pick through Jess's death without looking at everybody else's deaths. It's, it's a crazy ride, but you know what? It's a fucking clusterfuck at the same time, so... Looking forward to these final three episodes. Jess is dead. Nothing much more to say about it. The rat has been dealt with. I guess that is the big thing out of that, all of this, that the fact Santa Padre think they've dealt with the rat. But it just makes no sense. Keeper says there's a fucking rat at the table. And the thing is, the rat, obviously Jess is a rat, but normally a rat is someone who's actually snitched to the feds, not fucking telling another charter. I know they're at war, right? But no. Nah. I mean, although I will argue, Clay did call McGee a rat. He's like, McGee was a rat. 
Jackson, you dumb bastard. That's why I pushed her off the fucking roof. <laughs> anyway, Jess didn't get pushed off the roof. She gets shot. Only time will tell, guys. What's going to happen next? But I want you to leave your thoughts down below. And until next time, peace.